Hey YouTube, how's it going? Uh, this is another video tutorial by the help you need, which is me. <laughs> and in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to create uh, clay slash uh, wired uh, um, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Sorry, I forgot the name. Uh, renders. Wow, that's weird. I haven't done that in a long time, but uh, you know, uh, this happens. But yeah, this is what we're going to be doing. You just saw a clay render. Uh, now you're going to see a wire render. I'll go ahead and pause it so that way it just shows up. And here's what we're going to do next. We're going to create the clay wire look here. So that you can uh, show off your work in progress models on forums such as 3D Total and stuff. Uh, that's all this is, the tutorials will really help you with is that they, uh, you have, uh, if you have untextured models that you can have at least have them look pretty good. Uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and reset uh, this scene here. And the first thing we're going to do is click 8 on your keyboard, which will just go ahead and bring up the environment and effects. Show us underneath the rendering here. Um, Alright, uh, so we're going to change the background color to an off-white, almost a gray. And we're also going to create a little uh, completely white material here. And we're going to take a plane and then we're going to drag and drop all the way across the uh, top viewport. And we can go ahead and scale that down. Just move it into... Okay. All right. All right. Uh, next thing you do is have your object. In this case, I'm just gonna go out and make a box. Uh, just have an object like this. Now, it really doesn't matter the size of your object, so we can go ahead and scale it down. And we're gonna go ahead and show safe frame. This will help us with our rendering. And we're going to also apply this material to it. All right, now we just render it out like this. Doesn't look too like, extremely good or anything. I mean, that's all it looks like. It just looks like a box that's being rendered out. Has no really uh, color or shading. You can't really tell at the top. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're going to now add a uh, skylight. And we're just gonna bring this here. And we're going to bring this up. <clears throat> Alright, and now we're going to go into render setup here. Or F10 on your keyboard. And in my case, I'm using Mental Ray, which uh, the SB is probably a better one to use. We're going to change the preset to high. Multiplier. Multiplier, sorry. Uh, I like to have it at about 0.7. And. Go ahead and render it out just how it is right now. I'll go ahead and pause real quick. And now, as you can see, uh, there's some shading and stuff in here. Uh, it's still working until Ray because it has another task to do. Uh, I think it's finished. And you can see that you can see shadows and everything else is basically just the color. And you can see any mistakes. Obviously, it says it's just a box. There are no mistakes here. But any mistake that pops up, it's going to be a lot more noticeable than uh, if, uh, if you do it any other way. Uh, so that's basically just the first like clay render. Uh, you can also fidget around with all these. Right now, I'm just going to keep it how it is. Because uh, I'm kind of lazy. I don't really want to go through it all. Uh, the next thing you can do is go ahead and create a composite material here. And go ahead and discard old material. And we're going to drag and drop this into material one. Make it an instance. And we're just going to create a black wire. This. Let's choose wire. And we're going to put this in material three. There we go. Let's go ahead and add it. Now you're gonna see that the box kind of disappears. It's because it takes the form of the wireframe 
But when we render it out, it could go ahead and just give us a wire view of our box. Open this. And there you go. Now you see that you have an outline of your box. Now you'll notice that these lines are a little choppy. Uh, that again can be uh, fixed using uh, editing some of the uh, things inside of this with the render setup here. Uh, but that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something from it. And uh, I hope to see you in my next videos. Uh, take care and uh, good luck.